Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Salmon Painting with Ruby Q and today I'm going to talk to you guys about my giveaway. Okay, so I know that in, well as you guys know, in my last Whip and Chat I had talked about um, doing a giveaway and for those of you that um, listened to the whole thing, I told you to post a specific thing in the comments and a lot of you did, which I'm very happy about. So you guys are going to be getting two entries into this giveaway. Um, I am going to shut off comments for that video. But in this video, um, if you haven't entered it, you can enter it by commenting in this video. So yeah, it's, I mean, I wanted to do something special for my subscribers. Um, so the, like the reason that I'm doing two entries for them is because I had initially posted that video without even mentioning a giveaway and they watched it all the way to the end and um, yeah so that's why and then for this one it's it's just gonna be like hey comment whatever in the comments and you'll be entered so everybody gets to get into this giveaway be entered into this giveaway and so here's what I'm giving away it is going to be a handmade candle made by me, of course. Um, it's going to be a secret scent. And then a diamond painting from either Diamond Art Club or Mystical Diamond Art. Um, because I think that, well, I'm actually working on a Mystical Diamond Art diamond painting right now. And the reason that I want to give out one of those is because um, right now they are my favorite to work on. Um... And then I'm going to be also giving away two mind covers from an Etsy shop that I really like. And I'm going to be making a little Hawaiian care package for the winner. So it's going to be really cool. I was thinking about shipping the diamond painting directly to the person. But then I was like, no, because I really want to make it special and I want to fix up the box and everything. Um, and while adding all this stuff. So I'm just going to have it shipped to me. And then I'm going to have it shipped to the winner. Um, so yeah. And so this this is the official, um, I guess you could say, like, giveaway YouTube video post, whatever. Comment down here. Um, and let me know why you started diamond painting. Um, I'm not going to, like, pick who I like. You know, I'm going to actually do this, um, what is it called? Like a random name generator um, so that's how it's going to go. There's going to be one winner and it will end. You can enter up until July 15th. And I know it's very far out, but Mystical Diamond Art and Diamond Art Club have very limited diamond paintings right now. Um, I would have said Dreamer Designs as well, but they literally don't have any stock. Like they have several diamond paintings, but they don't restock um mystical diamond art she's doing a restock every week of two diamond paintings and then diamond art club does like four to six you know so i don't even know what image it's going to be it's just going to be a surprise um i'm going to try to pick something that everybody likes um not something that i like because you know then like if what if i get you like i don't know like a gothic skull and you're like what the hell <laughs> what the fuck is this so i'm gonna try to um pick something that I think everybody would like that is interested in so yeah um, uh, I, I don't know I just I just feel like I have to you know I have to do this because um, I'm very happy that people actually watch me and like I cuss a lot so you know not a lot of people like that but I mean everybody's been faithful to me so, yeah, hell yeah, I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, right now, I think I'm at 513. And, you know, like, it's funny because um, I've watched several YouTubers who are, like, bigger, bigger than me, obviously. And they stated that after, like, a certain number, they stopped checking. And, like, I don't know why I'm obsessed with checking. Like, who cares? But <laughs> I check. I'm like, oh, shit. I went up five. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Who the fuck unsubscribed? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you know so it's kind of like uh, people love people hate me and it's kind of like 
I have to stop saying like Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, so it's, it's sort of mind blowing. <laughs> like I didn't think people would actually like watching me, but I don't know. I'm just very blunt. Um, it doesn't take a lot for me to be pleased with a diamond painting. And it also doesn't take a lot for me to be unpleased with a diamond painting. So I feel like I'm very honest with my reviews. Um, I know I don't really do a lot of post reviews, which I have to start doing that. Like, I mean, I get really bored working on diamond paintings. Um, so if I'm working on a square one, I get bored and then I start a round one and then I get bored and then I start another one. So right now I am currently working on this one. I'm working on Diamond Art Club's Mama Knows Best or whatever. I think that's, or no, Angel Baby. I don't fucking know. It's, it's a mom with the baby. And then I'm working on Scarlet Macaw by Dreamer Designs. And I am working on my Mermaid by Royal Diamond Painting. But I rotate them. And this is why it takes a long time for me to finish a diamond painting. And this is why I don't have a lot of post reviews. Um, so, uh, yeah. It's just the way that I do things. I can't just work on one. Um, I have to work on several. And like downstairs. <laughs> oh my god. Downstairs I have... Um, the Joker one, and do you guys remember the Ever Moment mystery diamond painting that I got? The woman with the peacock feathers. I have that one down there too. Um, I don't think those are going to be finished for a while <laughs> because I prioritize all these other ones. Um, so right now I'm very, I'm enjoying working on this one. Um, I'm probably going to work on this maybe three days and then I'll rotate to... Um, the Royal Diamond Painting Mermaid so I can finish it and then I'll do a post review on that and yeah okay so anyway what is a current show that you guys are watching right now because I am actually watching Married at First Sight on TLC and holy crap dude like have you guys seen that show if you guys don't know what Married at First Sight is it's like what it, it's basically the title married at first sight so like these people like apply for this experiment where oh my gosh my, my son's in the background yelling at his younger brother <laughs> i'm sorry i'm like what is he fighting about um my husband's watching him but anyway um it's these people who apply to do this experiment where they are tired of like dating so they just want to get married and they meet with these professional people and they match them up with a perfect match or whatever and then two weeks after that they get married um and they don't get to see the person they don't get to know their name nothing they don't get to not absolutely nothing until they actually meet at the altar and then they get married and then they have like I think it's six weeks for them to decide whether or not they want to stay married or divorced. Like, these people even go on a honeymoon. And it's just, like, it's insane because, I mean, personally, I wouldn't do that. Because it's really, like, ugh, what if you get, like, a psychopath? And the season that I'm watching, it's, like, season 10. Man, I feel, I feel so bad for this girl. Like, her name is Mindy, and she got this guy named Zach. And, like, he is a stud. Like, he's pretty hot. But he's such an asshole. Like, on their honeymoon, he tells her that she's not attractive. And it's just, like, a downhill shit show from there. Like, he just, he doesn't move in with her. Because, like, they move in with each other. They, the show provides them, like, a, what is it called? A, like, a apartment complex for, like, those weeks that they're together. And he doesn't move in with her. And he just, like, kind of leads her on. Just really fucked up but in a way I was, I was watching that with my husband and I, well, I kind of made him watch it with me and he was like man if you were on this show um, these people would probably not want to marry you and I was like whoa 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 time out I was like why not he goes do you do you see how many diamond paintings you have because I guess there was like a scene where the girl went to her husband's apartment uh, before they moved into their apartment together and she saw like this moon tapestry thing and she was like oh should we take this and he was like yeah whatever okay 
and he was like, man, if, if a girl was like, you can't take that divorce. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, you know, uh, if you like something, that person shouldn't care, you know? And he was like, well, no one would marry you because no one's stay married to you because of all the diamond payments you have. <laughs> and then he was like, you know how many times I wake up with diamonds on my back, on my foot, on my ass? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I wake up with diamonds on my foot. And it's like, ah, oh, ha, ha. You make a joke. Be like, ah, ha, diamond foot. The next big thing, diamond foot. He's like, no one's going to want to take that shit. He's like, I can barely take that shit. So, <laughs> he was just saying, like, you would have to haul all your diamond paintings to a new place. And you'd have no room for them. And it's, and I was like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. You leave my diamond paintings out of this. But yeah, it's just, it's just show. It's like, fucking insane my child is crying in the background hold on one second all right i have the baby with me now are you gonna diamond paint hmm? are you gonna diamond paint so, okay so anyway <sighs> so yeah like these these shows are insane i don't know tlc has like a lot of crazy shows um i know there's one that it's like 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> I seriously like cannot believe people. Ah, eh, what are you doing? I can't believe people actually go on that show and get with people they don't even know. Like, why would you? I don't know. It's just weird. It's it's and then someone mentioned like it's like dating, and I'm like, no, it's not because you don't know this person. So yeah, I just want to know like what show. Oh my. Okay, fine. You want to talk about the show you watch? Okay. Tell them I watch Often Bob, and it is on YouTube, and it's such a good show for little babies because they show you what's right and what's wrong. I learned that I can't touch the stove because it is hot. That's it. Okay, you done? You done? Are you all done? Hmm. Okay, you got some diamonds on you. <laughs> Why you got diamonds on your fingers? Oh, God, guys. Do you guys have any kids? I swear, man. My kids are wild. This one is crazy. He... I have found drills when I change his diaper, when he's sleeping on his cheek. I feel kind of bad, but it's kind of like, well, you know, I have a whole bunch of diamond paintings, and somehow the drills just appear everywhere. And I am not sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I wanted to, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do a long whip and chat. So I'm going to cut it short. One, because I have this cute little baby on my lap and he wants to run around. And two, because I just want to talk about the giveaway. Remember, it ends July 15th. So enter it. Comment below why you started diamond painting. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you guys liked this little short video. I know it was quick and I was kind of hurried a little bit, but it's whatever. All right, see you guys later. Bye.